Well, it might surprise you to know self-driving 18 wheelers have traveling been traveling Texas roads for at least the last five years. So they have backup drivers, but some trucking companies tell KXAN they plan to go completely driverless this year. OK, there's some video right there. Mike has been digging into this because the state of Texas is about to launch a plan, Mike, to try to enhance the technology built in autonomous vehicles. Yes, and the way they're going about it, Jen, is that they're installing technology onto roads and the idea being that you would have a smart road mm -hmm. that would gather all of this information real time traffic conditions and communicate that back to the smart vehicles. The project is called a smart freight corridor and it focuses on a 21 mile stretch of highway 130 roughly from Georgetown to Del Valley. Crews will install a pattern of poles along the highway holding hardware like sensors and cameras and radars to detect things like road hazards and changing weather through software. Then that can share the info with 18 wheelers, giving them a heads up about what's coming miles down that road. TxDOT's Mike Ariano explains the department's motivation for this. If we can save you know, lives immediately by launching this technology, we really want to push and advance it as much as we can. Okay, so what exactly made TxDOT decide to test this technology on SH-130? A few factors. Number one, the road is fairly new, SH-130. Okay. So it was basically built with the infrastructure that would support and accommodate newer technology down the road. But then, TxDOT tells me, as they started looking over their stats about, you know, who drives these roads, they noticed that uh, self-driving 18-wheelers mm -hmm. with a safety driver in the seat uh, use that road an awful lot, so it just made sense to do it there. And then just sticking on that topic right now, you reached out to some trucking companies that are having these in Texas. What did you find? Yeah, and this was a surprise to me, Jennifer, because they're pretty prevalent around mm. here. For instance, this is Kodak Robotics. They tell me that they started operating driverless big rigs with backup drivers in Texas in 2019. And since then, the company says its trucks have driven two and a half million miles and delivered around 5,000 loads in Texas and other states. And then you have another company, Aurora Innovation. They have more than 30 self-driving trucks in their fleet and deliver for big companies. A spokesperson telling me if you've gotten a FedEx package in Texas, there's a good chance that it has traveled on an autonomous 18-wheeler. And who really hasn't gotten any, uh, a, a package from FedEx? Yeah, yeah. everyone. Okay, so TxDOT sees this project really as a possible springboard to expand their thinking across the state. So yes, they see it as a template. So if everything goes well with this, then they'll take that template, everything they learned from this mm -hmm. project, and they'll start to institute it in other roadways across the state. And also the long-term goal is it won't just be 18 wheelers that will be assisted with this. It'll be any kind of autonomous car. It could be cars that are, are you know, have driverless capabilities mm -hmm. right now, and then eventually are completely driverless. So everybody they say would benefit from this technology. All right, Mike has been working on the story for weeks. <laughs> I sure have, yes. <laughs> so you can see that full story. It airs tonight on KXAN News at 10 o'clock, and it's up right now on KXAN.com. You can find a lot more information, including the reaction from a trucking company and who explains why it thinks that it is actually a bad idea.